Okay, so now we're gonna do a quick review here of Ricky Sticky. Amazon Prime comedy fantasy movie. Well, it's a fantasy at least in the... I think INDMB said fantasy. Okay, so yeah, this movie... It's funny. Right off the bat, I like it. It's good. Um, it has John Cena. So I, I already knew I was gonna like it when I saw that it had John Cena in it. Because I, I like almost every film that I see him in, I do enjoy very much. Um, another thing about it was it has other well-known actors. It's got quite a few actors in the movie that I know that I'm familiar with, like the face. And then of course like Zac Efron. Like obviously you know his name, right? <laughs> so uh especially I think if you grew up watching high school musical, like you there's no way you didn't know, you know what I mean? I like that with the party, because one of the friends is Jewish and they're gonna do the circumcision thing that the Jewish people do. And he uses the cigar cutter because the rabbi he like swallows a uh, a ketamine pill. I forgot wh what the context was that they're gonna throw the pill at the other dude, but he catches it instead, and so he starts tripping balls later in the film. And John Cena's character, who's faking being Ricky Sticky, because because that's the whole premise of the movie is they have this alias name that they use to get out of you know bad situations or make an excuse to do something. And it's the three of them, right? It's the three friend group. And and so, yeah, the Ricky Sticky character, that's what they use to to circumnavigate this. And he uses the cigar cutter to, to cut the skin off. I thought that was funny and, like, clever, actually. And then, of course, he's, like, a hit with everybody at the party and everyone loves him. It kind of follows a similar pattern, right? But it's a pattern that I enjoy seeing in a movie where, like, they go to work and when he's at work the boss they calls him in and he's oh yeah i hired him i called him before i mean, he was just by the on his plane actually and i called him just in time and then he was came to my house he stayed there until like four o'clock or they, they stayed up until four o'clock and it's like oh it's so silly it's so silly but i love it you know just the silliness of that and and they thought it would be a one-time thing and they even telling him what by ron in the car went in the taxi but <laughs> he says no it's ricky it's Ricky Sticky. It's Ricky Sticky. Like, no, no, why, Ron? You know, um, until you get the gist there that he's going to come back. He's going to, he, that's not going to be a, the end of him. He's going to make it back. And he's going to uh, be a focal point in the film. And of course he is. And everyone loves him. And and I, I like how we repurpose. So he does tell the truth. That guy, Ron's character, goes on the podium. He tells the truth. And of course everyone's upset. And his boss says like hey don't bother cleaning out your office we'll do it for you or we'll put it in boxes for you and burn it you know because <laughs> he's upset too and what do you call uh what's i think you know yeah his wife makes like documentaries well she doesn't she wants to be a reporter that's what it was Her, the wife wants to be a reporter she gets an opportunity thanks to ricky sticky and well and the wife nobody told the wife that it was fake she actually figured it out and i like when she explains this to him and he he's like dumbfounded he doesn't know but the wife tells him like and he says he's gonna go help ebola like stop ebola in nairobi and she's like well there hasn't been any cases of ebola on the african continent and not only that but there's been no cases in nairobi period <laughs> It's all, it's all in the West. Which, this is true, right? Ebola started out in, I think, Liberia, Sierra Leone. It started out far in the Western part of the continent, in countries over there. And that it never quite affected the East, right? <laughs> so she said that, I, I knew that was a lie. That was a lie. I guess she dig further. And, and yeah, she, she's upset with him. And actually, and actually, I wasn't under the impression that that was the wife, but actually, it was in the end credits because of that they have a fake instagram account for ricky sticky and so the end credits because of the happy ending you see the instagram account it's like real now right it's actually um like legit ricky sticky posts now and not fake ones and the the wedding there actually is a wedding zach afron and the lady are getting married and so it's funny like because and i said this um to the people that i was watching and the, the, the agreement was like we thought that was the what was it 
Oh my god, what was it? We, we thought that was the wife. But no, actually, there was the fiance. I guess they were to be married. But they already seemed like a married couple. I would have thought they were married already. They were a couple already. <laughs> and it makes sense because earlier in the film, like you, re you recall it now, back in the film, that's why the gentleman mentions that Ricky went to the other guy's wedding and not his, right? Like he didn't mention any wedding of his own, but he mentioned that Ricky been to some other guy's wedding, one of the other friends' wedding. And that's why, like, oh, okay, that makes sense. And then, of course, there's like, I think it's his mother in law. It's not his mom, it's the wife's mom. I think it's the wife's mother. Um, that she she knows is fake. And she's like, I'm gonna I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna get you guys. I know this is bullshit. I know this is fake. I'm gonna rat you guys out. And and she does she does just that actually. Um, but she does actually she doesn't do just that. Um, that's not what I meant to say. But uh, she she has a moment of with me in the party scene like towards the end of the film, where she's like, Yes, I knew it. What I tell you, bitch. What I fucking told you, you know. I like that there's these two burly guys and they look dangerous. They look like they're hitmen and they're gonna kill Ricky Sticky. Or like his real name is like, what was it? Ron? Well, yeah, his name is like Ron. Ron something and because he owes people money. And But that's not that's not who's after it. Because <laughs> he does impersonations of famous um, musicians Alice Cooper, Billy Idol. And Billy Idol is important here. And some other ones like um, they're parodies of famous musicians you have to like know some of the musicians their stick when you see them do it but yeah billy it's actually there he gets subpoenaed and it's by billy idol and the subpoena from billy idol is you know he's telling him cease and desist stop playing my songs <laughs> and john cena's character is he's actually excited right he's happy about this. he's like whoa billy idol see me saw my act he saw me perform no way you know he's actually happy and excited to hear this which is hilarious right that's like the funny the comedy in it is he's not upset about it he actually likes that that's yeah billy idol heard my act and he liked it <laughs> yeah yeah this movie um it's nice i liked it i liked it it was good it's funny lighthearted. it's um you know it's got like some crude humor and stuff but nothing too ridiculous over the top or obsessive it's a it's a sweet movie ricky sticky thank you for listening